Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Metsols. Today I will talk about the two most important and most commonly used medications that is lilac and dufalac. In this video, I will share the most important informations about these drugs, like active ingredients that are used in these drugs, their uses, their dose, and their side effects. So, if I talk about the active ingredients that are used in these medications, it contains the active ingredient lactulose. Lactulose is a non-absorbable systemic disaccharide that is made up of two carbohydrates, that is galactose and fructose. The non-absorbable means it is when we administer, it is not absorbed into our systemic circulations, but it acts locally in our large intestine. Due to the active ingredient, lactulose, dufalic and lilac are used in two medical conditions that is constipation and portal systemic encephalopathy. Let me talk about the mechanism of action of lactulose in constipation. So lactulose is in osmotic lexatio. So when we take or administer it orally, it passes through our stomach and small intestine and reaches into our large intestine. In large intestine, lactulose is broken down into galactose and fructose, but during breakdown, it requires water for this breakdown. So for that purpose, it pulls the water from the surrounding tissues into our bowl. That's why the hardened stools that are present on our large intestine become soft and easily passes out. The other most common use of lactulose is in hepatic encephalopathy. So first of all, what is encephalopathy? Encephalopathy means the damage of the brain due to different diseases in our body. But in hepatic encephalopathy, hepatic means liver. So when our brain is damaged due to the medical abnormality in our liver is known as hepatic encephalopathy. If I talk about the mechanism of these conditions, normally in our body, ammonia is produced due to two different conditions. First of all, ammonia is produced internally in our body due to the metabolism of different substances. Secondly, ammonia is also absorbed from the large intestine and enters into our portal system and after that it enters into our blood. But uh, this ammonia is normally removed from our body by the liver because this ammonia is very dangerous from, for our brain but when the liver is damaged due to different medical conditions this ammonia affect our brain dangerously so for this purpose our goal is to decrease the absorption of ammonia from our large intestine into the blood to control the effect of this ammonia on our brain. So for this purpose, lactulose is commonly used to inhibit the absorption of ammonia from our large intestine into the blood. It inhibits the ammonia into the large and uh, into the blood 
through two mechanisms. First, it makes our large intestine more acidic and in this acidic conditions, the ammonia become ionized and due to ionized form, the ammonia is not absorbed into our blood circulations. Secondly, it also enables the bacteria that are present in our large intestine to use ammonia for a source of nitrogen. So, due to these two mechanisms of action of lactulose, the absorption of ammonia into our blood is reduced and as a result, the uh, our brain is not damaged due to ammonia. Let me talk about the dose of lactulose in these two conditions that is constipation and hepatic encephalopathy. In constipation, we will administer a dose of lactulose can, uh, that is 15 to 45 ml containing 10 to 30 milligram of drugs and it will be administered two or four times in a day means 10 to 30 milligram will be given either um, two times or four times in a day until the formation of the soft stools but in patients with hepatic encephalopathy, lactulose is typically given in syrup form as a dose of 15 to 30 ml two to four times a day with the aim for two semi-soft stools per day. For acute hepatic encephalopathy, the common option is to administer a bolus of 45 ml containing 30 gram of drug and repeat it hourly until the first ball moment. Once the episode of aphatic encephalopathy has subsided, the dose can be titrated to achieve two to three soft ball movements on a daily basis. Let me explain the side effects of these medications and how to avoid these side effects uh, in patients. The first uh, side effect of this medication is bloating. Bloating means the formation of gas. So, as a pharmacist, when you dispense this medication means the medication that containing lactulose, you should advise the patient to take this medications between the meal, not before or after the meal to avoid this bloating conditions. So this bloating condition can be avoided by using these medications between the meals. The second side effect of this medication is uh, nausea. So tr to avoid the nausea, try to you to take this lactulose by mixing them in water or fruit juices to avoid the side effect of nausea. The third side effect of this medication is uh, omitting and the other one is stomach pain. That side effect are mild and usually go away after a couple of days. And the last one, which is the most important, that is diarrhea, that is related to most patients. If we talk about the precautions of this medication, so when a doctor prescribes this medication to a patient, great care must be taken during the prescriber prescribing of these medications because due to overdosage it can cause ileus, severe diarrhea, electrolyte disturbance, 
in hypovolumia. If I talk about the contraindications of this medications in patients, so these medications are contraindicated in the patients with galactosemia, means increased level of galactose in the blood of the patient. So great care must be taken in this these patients. The other one is diabetic. So in diabetic patients, these medications are contraindicated due to the increased level of sugars in her or his blood. And it is also contraindicated in the uh, elderly patients due to uh, nausea and it is also contraindicated in pregnancy patients.